some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, got a real winner for you today. This Sovtar just got out of jail and is already being pulled over for lack of registration and issues with his inspection plaque. I mean, you claim you just got out for that very same thing and here you are pulling it off again as soon as you get out. Man, you really don't have a clue, do you? In addition, there is a twist at the end, so let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good afternoon, sir. You know why I pulled you over today? You have an inbound inspection. Do you have license registration proof of insurance? Do you have those things? Because if not, we're going to tow your car. I'm not doing commerce right now. Oh boy, right off the bat, the soft tard is trying to pull the trafficking card out. Well, King Ethan, there are several definitions of traffic, including the trafficking that you think you're talking about, which is hauling goods around, and traffic laws, which govern the laws of the road dealing with vehicles. You see, moron, it's all about context. Get your nose out of those sob tarred booklets that you haul around, and look at how the world really works. What was that? I'm not doing commerce right now. Okay, well, you have, you have two options. You can either provide me that documentation, or you can be towed. I'm sorry? You can either provide me your license, registration, proof of insurance, or we'll tow the vehicle. Why do I need insurance for or proof of... So if you're going to hand me that documentation, you can do that. Or we can move on from there. I don't need that if I'm traveling. I can't hear you. Can you speak up, please? I do not need insurance if I'm traveling. I'm not doing... You do? No. So you're telling me you don't have insurance on this vehicle? I did not say that. Okay. Do you have your insurance? I don't, ha I don't answer no questions. Okay. Okay, allow me to translate that for you. I don't answer questions because I trusted a Sovtard website because I'm a total moron. Does that about sum it up for you? It does? I'm glad I got that part right. Am I being detained? What was that? Am I being detained? Yes, you're on a traffic stop. You're being detained. For what? The county, go ahead to that return. What is the crime? What was that? What is the crime? What is the emergency? You don't have a valid inspection. But all crimes are commercial. Where's the victim? Oh, yeah, I forgot we're dealing with the soft tart here. They think that all crimes have to have a tangible victim. No, they do not. A crime can even consist of a simple parking infraction. While it is not a major thing, it is still listed as a crime. You freaking solved hard. Okay, auto tag, Hey, that copy. What was that, sir? Alright, go ahead and step out of the vehicle. Am I being detained or am I free to go? You are. Step out of the vehicle. Am I free to go? Sir, I'm not going to ask you again. It is within my right to ask you to step out of the vehicle. And step is it within vehicle. my right to stay in the car if I'm, I'm not, not being detained? You step out of what the Sobtar doesn't seem to understand is that in the 1977 case Pennsylvania versus Mims, is that it is perfectly reasonable for the officer to ask you to step out of the vehicle. But of course, this idiot doesn't know that. He's not going to step out because that soft tarred literature has turned this guy's brain into a pile of mush. So let's get on with this shit show, shall we? Come on, Clark. We'll be out of the jail with that. You can email any mileage for here in 989. Sir, I'm going to ask you again to step out of the vehicle. Are you going to comply? Am I being detained, sir? You are being detained. For what, what crime? Can Your you cite the penal code? So what is the penal code? But I don't need a registration because I'm not driving right now. I'm traveling. I can't hear you. You're going to have to speak up. I said I'm traveling. 
No, you are driving. You are behind. No, the I'm not in commercial. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, not in commerce right now. You are in commerce, sir. You need a driver license and you need a registration. I don't. I'm not doing commerce right now. Okay. I don't think this cop has any clue what this soft tart is talking about. Mostly because he lives in a fantasy world that was dreamt up by a bunch of losers in a basement somewhere with rules that don't apply in the real world. Am I free to go? No, you're going to step out of the vehicle. You are Am detained. I being detained? For what, what's the penal code? What's the penal code? 4703. Of the what is that? Vehicle code. So yeah, here's the Pennsylvania code that the officer just quoted and it can have a fine of upwards of $500. So, well, that's a pretty penny right there for a lot of people. But hell, I wonder how many times this soft tart is going to have to pay that $500 fine before he gets it through his head that he has to have the vehicle inspected. What is that? What? What is that? You're being pulled over because your vehicle is not inspected and that is an infraction of Title 75 of the Pennsylvania Vehicle Code. That's an awfully long pause right there. Are you confused that the officer was able to pull up a proper code right off the bat? Oh no! Don't tell me the officer actually knows the law more than you do! Okay, let's skip on ahead to when the supervisor arrives because, you know, this should be a standard arrest for obstruction and refusing to identify as long as nothing happens from this point on. So let's continue, shall we? Okay, here comes the twist I told you about in the beginning. The cop in the background just said that he can file, but he can't issue, probably meaning that he can't print out the ticket on the spot. So this may affect the outcome of the traffic stop itself. So let's find out, shall we? Alright, so here's the deal. You can't move this vehicle from the spot that it's at. If you move this vehicle from the spot that it's at, you'll be pulled over again. You're going to be issued citations through the mail. Sir, what it, what a charge is? What? What a charge is? A charge is a bill. You are forcing me to receive a bill. You're I'm forcing me into commerce. Your inspection and your registration is expired. I didn't put that in there. It was already there when you got the car. Correct. So that's that illegal. Has to be maintained to drive on a Pennsylvania no, if you're driving, I'm not doing commerce. I'm traveling. I already said a hundred times I'm not doing commerce. You are doing commerce right now. You're forcing me to contract. That's coercion. Okay, you can't move this vehicle. That's the bottom line. You can walk home and you can park it here, but you can't move this vehicle. Where's the on citation? The you can't. What is the citation? No, you can't. And I'm not going to argue with you. No, the if citation. You again, you'll be pulled over and you'll be cited again. I said a citation. Where's the citation? Huh? Where's the citation? You'll get it in the mail. Because you refuse to provide me your documentation, I can't give it to you right now. Okay, I will receive it. Okay. So, whatever you... But you can't drive. You can't... I'm not driving. I'm traveling home. I'm not tra I'm not driving. Well now, I've got a violin that's ready to play the sad music for you, buddy. Here we go. So the police have a, they have a gun. He's telling me that I cannot leave this spot. I already told him that I'm not driving, that I'm traveling. He's forcing me to engage in a contract right now, forcing me. I'm co co coerced.
sorry, dude, but the cop is not in the wrong here. He is not breaking the law. You are. You keep on doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. You just got out of jail for it not a few hours before. When are you going to come realize that sovereign citizen garbage is not working out for you? Probably never. Well, that's the end of the video, folks, so take care.